one-on-one -on -one action here on AIWF Southwest Wrestling. I'm Todd Kennelly along with K. Ross. And here comes the Iceman, Mike Myers. He's a big dude, always just down to business. This guy is always like a chronic bad attitude. Why he comes in the ring with some sort of protective vest. He comes over the top rope. He's trying to establish himself as one of the big men here at My Lucha TV. Problem is, nobody's ever seen him before. Well, here, let's take a look at the stats. Iceman Mike Myers coming in at 6'6", 230 pounds from Dallas, Texas. And of course, he is a Rudo. Well, he hardly has to distinguish himself as a big man here in Southwest Wrestling. He is just that, but will he distinguish himself as a dominant force here? That is yet to be determined. Well, it's all going to depend on his first matchup. I guess, you know, you never know. You dealt, you know, you deal with the, the cards that are dealt to you. And here he is going up against what looks like dancing into the ring is our old favorite, Squashy McGee. Squashy McGee indeed, bringing a whole new meaning to come as you are. I can agree with that as you see him. He's running around the ring, he's very excited, and, and he just seems to be, I don't know, happy-go-lucky. Yeah, looks like he uh, wore whatever he woke up in. I think he bought that mask from one of our vendors here. Yeah, it must be a style accents mask. Coming in in the Dockers khakis, and I'm sure, they, well, you know, I don't see the gap on the back there, but it seems like they're very involved. They do look comfortable. And you gotta be able to move around the ring. You wanna be, you wanna be comfortable in there, you, you know, you don't want to be restricted. No bacon neck, right? No bacon neck. <laughs> Whatever that means, yes. But on the flip side, look at the Iceman. Cool, calm, collected. He's taking this all in. And uh, you, you got to believe it's only a matter of time before he's going to explode out of that corner and really try and take it to Squashy McGee. But to do that, he's got to be able to keep his hand, get his hands on him. I think he's always got to deal with the overconfidence issue too. I mean, he's twice the guy's size and he sets him up and over to the back and down to the front. And here we go and a nip up and we see a little Lucha Libre. Wow, look at that agility by the big man. Nice combination of moves, the backbreaker into the downward spiral and there you saw the agility. And now here comes the explosive power, but nobody home, Squashy McGee. Oh, look at the extension with the high kick there. Oh, he's he really got him with that Savat kick, and he's really laying into him, but I'll be honest with you, Todd, I don't see much of a reaction on the face of Iceman. No, he's just shrugging this off, and I don't like Squashy McGee's chances in a slugfest trying to outstrike the big man. That's not going to get it done, and the Iceman just shrugs him off. And there, look at that. There it is. There's the power. I mean, he's twice the size. He's trying to make an impression. His first match on the AIWS Southwest Conference, and he doesn't want to leave any doubt in anybody's mind and he's going right after him. Picks him up by the neck, you know, pick him up in a suplex here. Yeah, maybe gonna be an ice pick, perhaps. He's got him up, Squashy McGee trying to counter, and he does momentarily, and again, the quickness of McGee. Sound strategy there, Kairos, taking out the wheels of the big man. Choppeth the treeth downeth, and he's doing his best. He's gonna hit the ropes and gain some momentum, but finds himself in an unfamiliar position. I don't think anybody's seen this on my Luch TV. He's got him up, and he's got him at his will. What's he gonna do? Cold shoulder, cold shoulder, Squashy is down. Platanitos in one, two, and three. Iceman puts him in the deep freeze for the one, two, three. My goodness, well, that's a that's a, a dish best served cold, I would say. And it looks like Red Mist has a little problem, and he's gonna get an answer for his response. What is he doing out there? Oh, he got put on ice as well. This big man impressive in his debut matchup just taking on all comers. And he doesn't seem to be done by a long shot. I don't know why they're trying to pick on him. I guess Lucha standing up for Lucha. Iceman not a big Lucha Libre fan. Did you just say trying to pick on the Iceman? I'm just, I'm just asking. I think I did. It was unintentional. Moving on, somebody seemed to hand a chair to Iceman. We're gonna have to see how that plays out, but he's got red mist in his sights. Well, that's the last thing this big guy needs. Is, a, is an equalizer. Look at the agility again. We saw the nip up earlier, the explosiveness in the spear, and now comes from the outside in, and this some extra curricular activity, but uh, looks like maybe. Yeah, he might, I think this might be insult to injury here. He, he's got him up, another cold shoulder, and that's two. Two cold shoulders and down, two luchadors down, and he still doesn't seem to be done. He's reaching for the back, Okay, this is this is not good. It's not good. He's uh, he's gonna end careers with this. He's grabbing mass. It's totally ridiculous. Well, that is a blatant show of disrespect here. 
where everybody respects Lucha Libre so much. Obviously not this man. Blatant, unsportsmanlike conduct there by the Iceman. But my goodness, did he cold cock these two. Uh, I don't see either of them moving very well right now. His squashy still might be unconscious, moving very little. Iceman's got the microphone. Well, speaking uh, in, in plural there, we're coming. Who do you think he uh, is alluding to? I'm not exactly sure, but we is definitely more than one. We're going to have to watch out for that here at the AIWF Southwest Wrestling Conference. Iceman, what a debut. Yeah, Mike Myers, almost an army of one here. As we go back and take a look at some of the action. It's it kind of one-sided. You know, poor Squashy. I mean, forgive the name, but he's a good kid. He went out there. He tried to do his best. Iceman just too big. There you see it. Yep, the power play. Shrugs him off. There's the explosiveness with the spear out of the corner. Lays out Squashy. And then a little bit of uh, action for Red Mist as well, who tried to stand up for Squashy, and he got much of the same. 